Now, if you need some inspiration on this damp, miserable Monday, then you've come to the right place. The West Country Women Awards were held this weekend, an event recognising and celebrating thousands of women across the region. There were over 1,500 nominations and plenty of winners. Here in the studio is one of them, Jan Ford, along with her son, uh, Owen, and Alexis Bowater, who set up the awards. Alexis, first of all, <laughs> welcome to all of you. Thank you very much. Alexis, the awards in their second year now. Yes. Did you ever dream they'd be this big and successful? I knew they were going to be big because I knew that people needed them. And um, I've, you know, I've been involved in women in business networking and awards in the West Country for the best part of sort of 10 or 15 years now. But I never in my wildest dreams imagined that we would have last year a thousand, nearly a thousand nominations. Mm. And this year I thought, well, you know, we'll get roughly the same amount, might top it, but to have nearly 50% more, 1,500 nominations of women all across the West Country was absolutely astonishing and just goes to show how important they are. And how needed they are. And, and it's not just local women supporting other local people. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's women like you, Jan, supporting women around the world. You won the Phoenix Award, the woman who quite literally rises from the ashes, yes. as you say, Alexis. Yes. Tell us a little bit of your backstory, because it's quite a story. Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> well, my, my story commenced over 20 years ago now. And it was a time I was living in France. And unfortunately, due to domestic abuse, I fled back to England, taking my young sons with me, thinking that we would be safe, but in doing so, I invoked something unknown to me, the Hague Convention, which means I was then facing ch charges of child abduction, international child abduction, and was forced to go back to the country from which we'd fled. Uh, the consequences of that, I then decided to write in a book. And, uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, this yes. is a whole life story that spans yes. many, many years, and what you're doing now is helping other people in that same situation. 80% are women, some men as well. How do you help them? Well, I hope that I'm sort of a, a port of call sort of for them. Um, they Often they reach out to me as, as a result of having written the book now. I think it helps they feel that they're actually being understood by somebody. And it's not just mm. understanding, but it's actually validating what they went through. Because as it is at the moment, um, in terms of legalities, there is no validation. And uh, it's, it's more like a, a weaponization of the legal system. And it helps other people to know that you've actually lived through that. But not only that, you've survived it as well as a family unit. I mean, I mean you must be so proud of your mum to have got through this and kept the family together. Absolutely. Incredibly proud of her. And it was a really nice moment, uh, sort of end of a chapter, end of a story, almost, excuse the pun, with the book. Um, seeing her on stage receiving the award for <laughs> something she doesn't necessarily give herself enough credit for. So ste stepping up on stage and celebrating with so many other women who... God, some of the stories were absolutely breathtaking. The things that the challenges people have undertaken, the things that they've set up, the adversity that they've overcome. Um, yeah, it was a really special evening. I think it's all still sinking in, isn't it? Are you, are you slightly overwhelmed by it all? Did you ever imagine that your story would lead to being a winner? No, not really. No, and I tell you what, I'm probably, I have to share this with you. I'm reminding myself now because <laughs> something that Alexis said to me and said to all no. of us was about butterflies oh. and butterflies not being able to see their own wings. Oh. And as a result of the awards and what you've done, you're helping us to see our wings. And so I thought, right, today I shall be wearing my wings. Oh, oh just a, it's so a, it's lovely. A, <laughs> it's How very lovely. symbolic. It's really lovely. And as you say, very much needed. Jan, your story is one of so many of women that you are celebrating and will continue to celebrate next year. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the stories coming out of Friday night were astonishing. We had 16 di different categories, 16 different winners. Unbelievable stories, lots of tears, lots of happiness, lots of hugs, and just the celebration that we set out to achieve. Looked like a fabulous night, and thank you all so much for coming Next in. Year. Next year, I'll be there. <laughs> thank you so much, all of you. Thank you.